Hey right guys, Drift Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 3 of Glee Season 5. I've genuinely been sat here for like almost an hour, <laughs> just not really wanting to load up this episode because I don't know, this isn't really an episode I want to react to. It's, it's like I said last episode, it's going to be a very different kind of episode, and if I could just watch this off camera, uh, I probably would, but you know, I'm going to do the entire show, and I think maybe it's one of those that people want to see a reaction to, and I don't know what other word to use because reaction isn't going to be what this episode really is. But yeah, this is, of course, episode three of season five, which is uh, the quarterback, which is the tribute episode to Corey, who played Finn and passed away before they started filming uh, season five. So, yeah, going to be a very different type of episode. And as I said last, ep uh, last episode, I think it was last episode, the only other tribute episode I've reacted to is the one for Luke Perry. Uh, in Riverdale, I think it was the season four premiere uh, where they attributed um, Luke Perry and Fred in that show. So uh, that's the only other show, really, uh, only other episode that I really have to, you know, go off what a tribute episode would look like, I guess. So my assum assumption is uh, Finn's character is going to pass away in this episode, or they're going to obviously hear of him passing away because I don't really know what else they can do with his character. So I'm intrigued story wise how they're going to go about that, but also intrigued how they're going to you know, celebrate Corey and uh, give him a good send-off in the show. And I'm sure he'll still, like, be mentioned in the show. I think it'd be very odd if he wasn't, so uh, I'm assuming Finn will be mentioned throughout the show still. But, like I say, it's not going to be one of those where, like, Finn passes away and then they just forget about it. Even though it is Glee, so I guess you never know. But yeah, episode three, guys. Let's do it. Also, as well, I'm not going to rate any of the songs for this episode. I just don't really feel the need to. And as for the episode rating, it'll just be a 10 like, uh, I gave that one to the Luke Perry episode as well. It's just trippy episodes. You can't really rate them. It's, it's a weird one. So just assume it's a 10 and we'll just, yeah, see what happens. So let's do this. Already not ready. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be one of those ads as well. A lot of the actors just aren't even acting. Expelled. Oh no, the fuck! God's sake, dude. Three weeks to the day since his funeral. Oh. It's the first time I've had to grow a tree to look at Mad. the suit I worked on. Mad. Everyone wants to talk about how I got the tree, but who cares? Literally, I was, I was literally gonna say, I was gonna say, I bet they won't even mention like how Finn passed away because it literally doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just only becoming Vikings one day. I planted a tree in the exact same place. What's she on about? Is she all right? Oh, dude. I'm like, I can't even do this. Right, I'm fit on the board. I'm glad someone knew we could make it back. Anyone who wants to can come up and pick. Maybe a song he sung? It's so. I can't imagine being on that set, like. That's such a classy angle. He's like. Our leader in here. He actually was. <laughs> what did he think? Yo, I ain't prepared for this. <laughs> I don't even want to react to this. I'll give it a sort of at least we can have a freaking minute break. Memorial Garden in Queens Landing. True story. Someone vandalized the memorial. Is that a joke? Grief can bring out the irrational and Why is racial as well, actually? Sometimes it makes people do very strange things. Sometimes when people oh, die, they're left for a while to reflect their grief. Okay. To get us through the hard times. That makes more sense. Okay. I asked myself that for a reason a couple of times. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Dude. The ball from the first game we ever scored at. I need a lamp in my office at the shop. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I just I gave him a pat on the back. 
Took that. Now he's gone. I'm gonna ask. do that but he has to keep on being a parent even though you don't get to have a child anymore <laughs> you're exhausting do you seriously don't recognize the furniture come on <laughs> Dude, i'll recognize that you can just see on their face is like look Oh, dude, I'm gonna do 25 more minutes of this. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, please. You wanted that memorial gone because you're such a cold hearted bitch. What did you say? I mean, a miserable, self centered bitch who has spent every going. minute of the past three years trying to make our lives miserable. I'm officially over. I don't care for you anyway. Why don't give so he's pissing me off. I have hated you ever since the day I met you. You are a <laughs> play. Oh, my Never God. Jesus. Daughter, you pick up that phone and I swear to God, I will shove my foot so that far up. Off. No, this is assault. <laughs> Finally. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm not too mad about it, to be honest. I was just so scared what? I was going to see those flowers again. Wait. And I feel so much happier to hear that he's been gone. And I could be with him again back at that boat house. Oh, All right. Is this uh, just way of grieving in the wrong way, maybe? I need a lot. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Are they just not gonna have Rachel in this ad? That'd be very odd. And that's likely Michelle didn't want to film, like which I'd get obviously. Well I was just saying you came back to see me, right? Is that how you're feeling? Well, I don't know. I mean of course I feel something. I'm I, I feel I feel more than I know how to express. I'm heartbroken. I okay. No, no, I I, I, I need this is oh, not to be different. I love you. Let it all out and I want you to know that I care and value you for all you've meant. But it's been a month. A month? Jeez. You don't have to be scared to have feelings. No one understands. Understands what? Tell me. If I start crying, I don't think I'll ever stop. Oh, dude. For fuck's sake. What chance do I have of not being an idiot and hurting people? Without him around to remind me who I really am. <laughs> He's dead. And all we've got left is his voice in our head. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry, but it's time you, you got to be your own quarterback. <laughs> but you got to promise to put the tree back. Oh, she knows. Is the tree? She knows. Yeah, the garbage tree, though. Probably big enough. <laughs> big road, you know. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Jesus. Fucking hell. Do you really think I'm just like you're gonna think? Oh good, no one knew I was crying. You do know how to take me when I am. That is true. I could just agree. I'm not really afraid of you anymore. No, please. God. I think it's about jacket line of clock. Tree. I told Beast I threw it back. No, not the tree. Sin's jacket. Oh. Where? I 
didn't wipe the jacket. I understand you need the jacket. I understand that you do. I didn't. But if you did, all I'm going to say is that all of us are missing pieces of Dave Beatty's suits. I don't think he did. Maybe Sue did. Maybe you did. I was part of the Ronnie Corps. And I don't need to scream it when you die from bad luck. I can't believe you let the guy who took your life from you away from you. Cut the crap, Sue. I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about those people. I care about you. <laughs> I just want you to be right. That's cute. And I'll never let you go. Because you only live for the dreams. And my happy ending is just gone. It's just gone. I thought I'd spend the next 30 years teaching you inside him. And then I had all this whole new world created and became this dope little glee club. Oh, it was just so pointless. It's all the potential. I feel for you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Treat me for breakfast. Oh, I'm not even. <laughs> you like cream? <laughs> Ian, love you, Alfie guy. I know he did. I left with him in the car and then. And he stopped working and he took me alone. I miss those few years there. Long, but I. I miss him when he was better and fitter. Whoever brings that jacket back, you know, I have to take him home. Well, oh, this will. Girl, me. Fifty years from now, when this tree is thirty feet tall and kids come to make out under it, do they know who it was planted for? I wonder if that tree is still oh, there, actually. I guess I'm gonna dig it all out. How do you? You? Mm. Oh, I love them too. <laughs> Some other trees in the rock by the end, so you need to get me in touch in case you ever screw this up. Come on. Come on. He's gonna start crying. Oh, I'm afraid it's. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Go to Mary. I can still see her face, and I can hear her say so clearly, "I can never be happy again." I just need to see that you're there, really. I mean, when are you leaving? It's it's been like years ago. I thought I'd be able to see you every day, but I never was able to. But I had it all planned out. I was going to visit kids on Broadway, and maybe do a little Alley movie. We'll do Alley, but not like that. Even when we were ready, I would just come back, and he'd be teaching here, and I'd walk through those doors, and I'd be saying hi. <laughs> and then we'd be happy ever after. Okay. Thank you, Ian. Oh, dude. <laughs> he was smart, you know, in an in an untraditional kind of way. I gotta get a hug. I know what it says. <laughs> Come on. You wanna have a better quote for Finn? <laughs> he took the jacket. He took the jacket. He up.
Yeah, I don't <laughs> know what to say really. Just yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Sorry, I didn't say much in the actual episode. I, I didn't really want to react to this anyway, but yeah, kind of. It's one of those, like, I'm glad I did, but I didn't really want to, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because I just didn't know what I was going to say. Like, what, what can you say, really? So, yeah. We got through it, though. We survived. Jesus. We survived. Just about. I think I've just, I don't think I've cried just straight on for, like, an episode ever. Jesus. Like, usually when I cry once, I'm, like, done for a week. I need to recharge. <laughs> yeah, like I said, like, with the actors, you can just tell they're not even acting throughout any of that. Which is just what uh, it's what makes it like harder to watch. It was a gr it, in terms of like a tribute episode. They did a they did a fantastic job, like with the jacket and you know them telling stories that uh, like Rachel and Finn listening to songs in the car and uh, Kurt and his bond with him, and then even Puck as well, um, worried about what he's gonna do for his future with, without him and stuff. So, uh, and I'm actually glad uh, they mentioned it very early on, but they. <laughs> I'm taking slow time in my words, but uh, where where Kurt was, uh, yeah, it's Kurt. who was like, it doesn't really matter about how he died because that's what that's not. It's not going into this episode. All I was curious about, but that was one of those things where I was like, if they'd even mention it or like what was going to happen with Finn's character. But as Finn said in this episode, like that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we'll probably talk about it more in the next episode because um, there's not much I can say really, or maybe we won't. We'll talk, obviously talk about it throughout the show, but. There's just not much you can say over them because you can't even be like, oh, the acting was so good because it just wasn't even acting. Um, the songs were all great. The the tribute to to uh, Corey was done very well, I think. Very respectable from like everyone as well. And I like how like all of them kind of struggled with it in their own way, like like Puck and Sue, uh, and then Santana as well. It's like they all just struggled with it, it's like how the character would, if that makes sense, but. Uh, you can still sell. You can still see their world we're all struggling, and then that goes on top of like what the actors were doing. So I can't even imagine. Like I said, I couldn't even imagine being on like that set at the time or anything like that. That's just yeah. Just knowing everyone around you is kind of feeling the same way and thinking the same thing. It's just it must have been very hard to film that. So there we go, there guys. I'm gonna get a tissue to blow my nose because <laughs> it's. Been, I've been needing to blow my nose for about the past twenty five minutes, but. Yeah, I wasn't going to get up and I, just needed to, I wanted to just kind of get it done. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time for episode four. And like I said, I hope they still... At least Glee, so like any of us should be like, yeah, it's obvious, but with Glee, I don't know. But I do hope they kind of still mention Finn and uh, talk about him in the show. That'd be kind of nice, so we'll, we'll see. Rest in peace to Corey and rest in peace to Naya again as well. It was kind of hard seeing her in this episode as well. And then the song she was singing as well, it's just kind of considering what happened it's just a, it's just a bit mad it's been mad so rest in peace to those two and yep i'll see you next time for episode four guys take care peace